cross-threading is when you screw a fastener in place and the, the threads don't quite meet up. I'm going to demonstrate on this bottle of used motor oil here. If I screw the cap off, you can see the beginning of the thread in the cap is right there, and the beginning on the, uh, the bottle is right there. Now, if those, if I have the cap slightly tilted and I start screwing it on, you can see it goes on, but it's crooked, and now it's cross-threaded. Now, in a plastic bottle, that doesn't matter very much, but in aluminum motorcycle bolts and other uh, bolts, uh, you can do real damage to the threads, uh, and you can actually tear the threads out and cause the fastener not to fasten anymore. So, this is a technique I've used for years and years and years to stop or prevent cross-threading, and that's something I thought that was fairly common knowledge that everybody did, but apparently it's not. So let me demonstrate it to you. The simple way to do this is when you put the fastener in place, instead of instead of tight, you know, clockwise, tighten it. You screw it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, and you do this until you feel the threads pop. Right there. So what that means is those two threads that the thread end in the cap has just passed over the thread end on the bottle. So now I can screw it in place and I know that it's not going to be cross-threaded. And the same exact technique works for screws, bolts, pretty, uh, jars of peanut butter, pretty much anything. I'll show you that one more time. All you do is just screw the cap backwards or the bolt backwards till it pops. And it's, you know, the screw, you're not going to hear it pop. You're going to have to feel it. But that exact technique will work regardless of the, of the screwed fastener. Very simple way to never cross-thread a fastener ever again.